Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a vlog and why am I sitting in front of the bathroom? Hold on. You might actually hear this. I was gonna ask you guys about my bathroom. Already getting off to a random start. Like, we're gonna be random today. We need to replace my toilet and we haven't done anything with this bathroom since we moved in a few years ago. So I just wanted to ask you guys your opinion on the color. Like what color should I make this bathroom? I wanna redo all this right there. This is what we have right now. And yeah, you're probably gonna hear this toilet go on and off. We have a new one over here, which we need to replace it. But let me know, what color should I do in here? I was only thinking white or bringing the blue in. But I think that might be too dark. Maybe bring in one of these tones, like a gray. I don't know. You guys always have the best ideas, so let me know what color I should paint this. But I wanted to close the door because that is going to be making noise while I try and talk to you guys. So I figured I would take you guys on a kind of spend the day, spend a couple days with me. Yesterday we actually went to the bush. We went to the bush yesterday because it was going to be the only nice day that we had to go outside. So we took the kids, the dog. I might put in a little bit of footage in this video to show you what we got up to because I started vlogging that day. I just didn't go through with it because I was so tired after going to the bush. So. We took the kids there, we played soccer, and then we went on the zip line there. Honestly, nothing to do since Ontario shut down, so this was the only place I could think of, because it's family property, that we could go to, no one would be there, and we could take the kids to do something. So we went on the zip line, which was a lot of fun, the kids had fun. I even went on it, it started to spin for me, and I'm not good at spinning, so I felt a little bit sick. I didn't get sick though, I was good. The kids wanted to then spin themselves, so we got them spinning a lot on the zip line, but it was just so much fun just being outside. We were out there forever. Hopefully you guys enjoy some of the little clips that I took from being out at our bush. And then today it's rainy outside, absolutely nothing to do, so I just filmed and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a haul, I guess, super random but I wanted to clean up my room because it is a disaster and I wanted to put some of this stuff away. Can you hear the toilet? It's going off. This is the new toilet that will be replaced, but I wanted to clean up the area, show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up recently. These are essential pieces and just things I absolutely love, so cannot wait to do that. Clean up the whole area and Ariana wants to work out down here with me. So I got little yoga mats for Alex, Ari, and myself. We finally put up a TV over here and we're gonna probably do a little bit of yoga or some workout videos. I'm just going to set you guys down somewhere. Where do I put you? Maybe on the toilet? <laughs> so I figured start off a vlog with a little haul because you guys know I love hauls and I wanted to do cleaning up so it's kind of like a two-in-one. This is gonna help me get some stuff done today and I get to show you a few little things that I purchased recently. So let me grab them. I pulled you guys on Instagram what Nike shoes I should get. So I had the Air Force ones, the original, and then I don't know what the other ones were called, but they were just like a chunkier platform than these. And I was actually leaning more towards those ones and I still might get them at some point but you guys voted for the original Air Force one and that's what I decided to pick up. So I wanted to show you guys before I even wore them what they look like and just a thank you for helping me decide on the poll. Just some brand new Air Force ones look like this. I love the chunky heel on them and I was wearing my Adidas ones, the all-star ones forever. So I needed just a plain pair of white shoes and what size did I get these in? I think I just got them in a seven and a half. They were saying to size down and I'm usually a seven and a half eight. So I just went with a seven and a half and they are roomy, but I honestly like that in a shoe. I could have went down to a seven myself, but I really, really like these. And yeah, thank you guys for telling me to pick these ones up. So now I have some new shoes. I think the last time I bought just white shoes, I should look up because it's on my Instagram, the Adidas ones that I literally wore to the ground. <laughs> like I wear my shoes so much. So it has to be like seven years ago maybe, the last time I brought shoes. So that's why we needed an essential haul. So got those. Also I wanted to purchase some Birkenstocks again because my other ones, I don't even want to show those. 
Like, <laughs> they are falling apart. But I ended up getting these ones. The same ones, but they are black instead of brown. The old ones I had were a brown strap. So I like the the cork ones, which are more pricey, but it's because they form to your feet. Like literally, when these form to your feet, they're the most comfortable sandals you'll ever wear. Like I could walk, hike in these. That's how comfortable they are. They have good support in them. And I know a lot of people think Birkenstocks are ugly and I thought the same at first, but for the pure comfort of these, like they are absolutely amazing, worth every penny. So I do recommend the cork ones just because they do really form to your feet. You do have to break them in. So at first they're not as comfy as they will get. So trust the process, break these in, get yourself a pair of Birkenstocks. You will not be disappointed. They come with this tag on them and my other ones had a little bit of the string on it and I just wanted to see how long I could leave that without actually taking it off because those kind of things annoy me. And I don't know why I did that to myself, but I managed to wear my sandals out with having that little string dangling off. Don't ask why I was doing that. Honestly, I don't even know. Birkenstocks are an essential and probably my number one thing is bras. And I get a lot of questions, especially about when I'm wearing a strapless bra, what I wear. And I did a sponsorship with this company like six years ago. I think it was at this point and I've been buying their bras ever since like I've spent more money on this company than I ever made in that sponsorship it was a long time ago it is the brand third love and let me tell you guys their bras literally the best thing you'll ever invest in and for those in Canada it is pricey because it is US so you have to convert it to Canadian plus you get duties and the shipping it's it's a lot Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. If you're Canadian like me, it is a lot, but I would not recommend these to you guys if it wasn't worth it for me. So I wanted to pick up my set of three bras I usually get from them, and they finally have them in a little set. Like all the bras I was gonna get was in a set, so I saved money actually getting it in this set. And I'll put up the set on the screen as well as link it for you guys, because I don't know, am I out of focus this whole time? I hope not. <laughs> How annoying is that? This camera sucks. Don't get the G7X. Like why does everyone recommend this? It comes in a set of three. As I said, I will put what it's called on the screen for you guys. But these are the bras I wear and swear by. Honestly, it says you won't feel like you're wearing a bra in these. Like you could sleep in these and be that comfortable. And I'm the type of girl who, at the end of the day, the best part is taking off your bra, okay? Like I like sleeping without a bra. But there has been times when I was wearing one of these under my pajamas or whatever, for whatever reason, and I forgot it was on and I slept in it. Perfectly fine, forgot these were on. Like, they're that comfortable, their t-shirt bra, amazing. This is the only strapless bra I wear. Like I have other like fancier bras, but these are the best for our daily bra and this is literally the best strapless bra you will ever wear in your life. So highly recommend, it does come with straps if you want to wear straps, but they do have different kinds of tones. I got like, I don't know what this color is called. <laughs> but this is the tone I always get for my strapless bra. And it's really nice because it's seamless, but it's comfortable and supportive. Like if you have a larger chest, like I wouldn't say I'm overly large, but I do have on the larger side, I would say. And these keep the girls up. You guys always ask what I wear for a strapless bra because I know it's so hard to find, but do yourself a favor and at least get this strapless bra. And if you have a little extra money to have everyday sort of bras, their t-shirt bras, you guys have to pick up. So I wanted to show you these before I actually wore them. So I've been dying to replace my old bras. As I said, I've ordered from them. This might be my third or fourth time repurchasing bras from them. And this is just the same color as the strapless, just in their t-shirt bra. I love the straps on them. I don't know if you can, hold on. It's kind of like a bungee. It really gives support to each individual breast. Like it has its own little bungee cord. It's so comfortable. So I got that in that just for like white shirts and stuff. And then just the classic black one. So those are the ones I got. They also have half sizes. So if you ever thought you were in between a size, they do do half sizes as well. And they go up fairly large. I forget what they go up to, but honestly, like check out Third Love. This is not a sponsorship. <laughs> So I have worked with them like six years ago. 
this is one of those companies I've been buying from ever since. Like when I love something, I'm telling you guys, like the best bra you will ever wear in your life. So I had to uh, give a shout out to that in a video because seriously, like you will thank me later for that. What else do I have here? I have another one of these upstairs because I decided to go with classic black, but Shein has really nice bathing suits and they're really affordable. I think I got this for like $14. Canadian so very very affordable good quality and this one looked amazing on literally every body type which I need <laughs> so I saw this bathing suit it's a one piece but it honestly looked flattering on every single person there wasn't a person who posted a photo that I didn't think this looked amazing on <laughs> so I'm like I have to pick that up for myself so it is a one piece looks like this it's cut fairly low for my comfort I got a couple triangle bikini tops just to go under because like this is very very booby on me middle boob side boob like there's a lot of boob <laughs> when I wear this so it's just personal preference for me that I wanted a little bit more coverage but it has these straps the straps you can wrap around the bathing suit I will put in an image for you because I'm not going to try this on <laughs> but you'll see in the image like it just looks so nice on the model and then if you look at customers like photos of this bathing suit it looked amazing on absolutely every single person who posted so I got this like rusty brown sort of color it looks a little orange here but it is like a really nice rusty brown <laughs> and then I got that in black too plus a bucket cap which looks honestly awful on me maybe not too bad but just to block out the sun this I'm gonna wear in the pool like I don't want any sun on my face so as horrendous as I may look in that we're blocking out the sun and that was like a super cheap purchase too what else do we have some soap this vlog is just gonna turn into an entire haul this is what I use to clean my brushes if you are ever curious I got this from well.ca Come on, G7X. It's the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Bar Soap. Hi. What's up? Here's trying to come in too. I'm gonna make lunch it's so soon. Too much. After I'm done this, I'm gonna make lunch. Oh, everyone just coming in. All right, so everyone just came in. So this is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Bar Soap. Looks like this. I clean my brushes with this. I just got two because. I wanted to make my order a certain amount so I just end up throwing in two of these but this is great because it has the tea tree in it which I find is an antibacterial for when you clean your brushes so this is what I personally use to deep clean my brushes and I only deep clean my brushes I don't spot clean now I always am deep cleaning and I've done a pretty good job at keeping up with it I also got another I don't know where this is and then next sweet cheeks blushes <laughs> you guys know I'm obsessed with these this towel I purchased this a while ago and this was another repurchase so another essential item I'm trying to set up my shower down here with all my essential items I need so this is the aquas hair towel I love that it comes with a ponytail too and this color is amazing look how beautiful is that color like I love a neon yellow like that so this is what I use to towel dry my hair and I wanted one just down here for this bathroom and this is supposed to cut down your hair drying time which I do believe it does hence why I repurchased another one of these guys so repurchase for me and then the last thing not necessarily an essential but I didn't know where I would show this in so I figure I may as well show it in this video so I did place an order on KKW and I used a product in this makeup today but I didn't use all of this so I'm gonna have to save some of this for another video but I wanted to show you guys here I ended up picking up two loofahs these were on sale otherwise I would not have picked these up to be honest because it is kind of pricey so one of them is in the shower down here and I just wanted to show you a new one before I started to use it because I got one for the other shower that I do use which is in my master so that's the one I normally use but as I said, I wanted to set up this bathroom down here, especially because we're going to be redoing it and making it nice. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> little things I've been doing in this pandemic is 
utilizing different areas in my house like I'll have my kids sleep downstairs or we'll have a, like a little tent set up in our living room and we're just making the most of areas in our house and sometimes when I shower down here it just feels like away somewhere else you know because I don't use it that much so that's why I'm setting up a little place down here so I can utilize different areas in my house and it just makes me feel like I'm somewhere else this is what the loofah looks like just your typical loofah you could get at the dollar store <laughs> but it has this really cute kkw well you could use it as like a bracelet honestly because you could cut the little string off but it holds the loofah and it's just really nice love the tone of it too so that's what i got for both my showers just new loofahs the rest i need to find because i've been using one sec <laughs> And then from KKW Beauty, I wanted to pick up some of the Honey Collection. Initially, I was going to totally pass on this, but I kept seeing things and I'm like, you know what? I need to pick up a couple pieces. Plus, they had the sale, so that's why I picked up other things. It just kind of snowballed from there. So I got the KKW Beauty Matte Palette. The colors look like this, and I've already been dipping into this looks amazing i love her eyeshadow formula like i'm a big fan of a lot of the kkw formulas i've also honestly decided that the kkw concealer is my favorite concealer ever <laughs> like i started using that again not wearing it today because i was testing out something else but it is by far my favorite concealer i have ever ever used and then i used this today in my video so you'll see this applied this is the kkw beauty blush and honey pot part of the honey collection why won't you focus okay there and if you like melba from mac this is very similar i find to it a little bit deeper more peach let me get melba to show you if you're a fan that is honey pot compared to melba you can see they have very similar tone melba a little bit more peak peak <laughs> pink and kkw has that peachy tone to it but i find these very very similar on the cheek so i recommend if you have not checked out the kkw formula really really nice and then i decided to try out the lipsticks again i was telling my friend stephanie how much i hated the lipsticks i've tried from kkw beauty because i've only tried the matte versions and i find them so drying they smell gross they're just a horrible formula but because of the sale, I decided to pick up a couple shades just to try out. And she loves the KKW lipsticks and she uses the creams too, which I wanted to try. So I got one of the creams. This is number one pink. So part of the pink nudes that Kim did. Looks like this. Stephanie wears this all the time and it looks so good on her. That is what pink one looks like. And that's the cream formula, I think. But it's definitely not drying like the other mattes I've used. And then I picked up one of the ones from the Honey Collection, which is Honey One. And this definitely has that matte formula that I don't like. <laughs> I love the color though, so I'm using this on top of other colors. This isn't a color I would wear on its own, honestly, because if you look at that, it's just very, very light. It's a beautiful tone though. And I will swatch it beside it. This is my kind of nude. Love this. So I was wearing this a little bit on top of some other nude lipsticks I wear and then manipulating it with certain lip pencils. And it's a really nice color. But as I said, you need something really creamy underneath and maybe this on the center only. At least that's my experience with the matte formula. I just must have really dry lips or I don't know. They just don't work for my lips because yeah they just look really dry and crusty when i use the matte like all over it's just not a good look for me so that's everything that i picked up that is my haul i hope you guys enjoyed my haul and now we're gonna get on with the day it is 12:05, time for lunch we had cooked up some chicken on the barbecue yesterday yesterday the other day i don't know one of the days anyway so i have leftover of that I made this copycat chipotle chicken recipe, which fun fact, I've never actually had chipotle before and I know so many people love it and I know I would too if I ever ate at the place, but I wanted to make my own kind of bowls like they do and I did the copycat recipe, which I will link down below for you guys. Tastes really good. Can't tell you if it's spot on though because 
as I said, I've never ate there before. And then I just kind of made my own similar type of chipotle bowl just with my own stuff. So that is what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm sorry if half this video was like out of focus. This camera just hates my face, maybe. More light over here. That would have been a better angle. This is lunch warmed up. It is so good. I will put the recipe for the chicken. Whoop, we're steaming up. <laughs> In the description box for you guys, I just put some tomato, lettuce, and then the guac I need to use up. It's like turning brown. It will be so good. I could honestly eat this every day of my life. It is that good. Just did a quick clean, put all my stuff away for filming. It's late now. So I'm just doing a little end of the vlog check-in with you guys. This is going to be the end of the vlog. I was editing it earlier in the day and this camera is so awful. That's why I don't vlog just because it's constantly focusing or taking forever to focus on things. So I hope you guys don't mind. Vlogs will get better if I continue to do them. I just wanted to put out something this week just because I felt like vlogging. Just a little glimpse of a couple days of my life. The toilet's going off right now. But you will see this whole look soon my face is actually melting off you will see what foundation that is in the upcoming trying new makeup that will be up I don't know when it's gonna be up maybe Thursday Sunday initially I was gonna put this up on Thursday however I think I might do a little surprise video and upload this earlier in the week for you guys so that you have something to watch won't be on a typical day so hopefully you guys are able to see this regardless but i just wanted to end this vlog here it is actually monday today when i'm filming this so the clips you saw on the weekend and then today is obviously monday and we just got news that the schools in ontario are going to be online now which we were doing anyways but i feel so bad for all my friends who are in class because I'm like one of the only ones who chose to do online. So we need some wine tonight. So if you are fellow mom, anyone who is going to be doing the online schooling with your kids, let's pour ourselves a glass of wine. It's gonna be a nice little extra video for you to watch. So get that wine going. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should be Thursday. And I also have one ready for Sunday too. So just an extra video. A little vlog to get you guys through the week i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed my haul as well even though like half the footage <laughs> was blurry during it because i hate this camera so much but that is it there is a lot of worse things going on and hopefully this was a little break a little escape for you guys maybe you can check out some cool new products and just have fun with me for the day so if you enjoyed this vlog be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that i know to maybe do these in the future be sure to subscribe before you leave hit the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos and i will see you guys in my next one and the toilet just signed us off <laughs> probably didn't hear that but i did